Hey, um, Chris. Right. Right. Christina. Right. What was your name again? Jeff. Come on in. This week we'll be beginning the laboratory phase of this course, and I know for many of you this will be your first laboratory experience, so I'd like to take a few moments this morning to go over your responsibilities as you enter the laboratory, as well as describe how you should prepare for the laboratory. Behaving responsibly, being prepared, and following instructions is the only way we'll be able to learn safely in the laboratory, and that's what this is all about. I have listed four student responsibilities that you should follow before coming to the laboratory. They are one, come to the laboratory prepared. Two, follow the instructions both for myself as well as the teaching assistant. Three, learn and follow all safety procedures. Four, always, always behave responsibly. Unsafe behavior and not knowing what you're doing are the major causes of accidents to our students in labs. To prepare for each experiment, I would expect you to have reviewed the experimental procedure carefully and understand the chemical principles involved. You should also understand the hazards associated with the chemicals and the equipment to be used. At the beginning of each experiment, we will answer any questions that you have before getting started and talk about any special precautions that must be taken. It is important that everyone be on time. And don't be afraid to ask questions during the experiment if you don't understand something. That's what the laboratory instructor is there for. Man, I cannot wait to get started. This is going to be fun. As you exit class today, you'll find a list just outside the upper door, which will identify who your laboratory partner will be for the first semester. Please take a moment and take a look at that list. If not now, then certainly before the first laboratory. Everyone is expected to come to the laboratory prepared, appropriately dressed, and on time. And on time means one o'clock sharp. Oh no. Oh no, anybody but here. Where could he be? This is just not going to work. Hey! Hey! Christiana! Get off the bench! What? Get off the bench! Oh, there are chemicals sorry. you could... Sorry! So what's up? Where have you been? You're late. I know. I'm sorry. I just... I had this thing with my friends and I left. I gotta... I actually gotta go back in a little bit. Um, how long is this gonna take? Because I was thinking maybe we could just, you know, you could do... You, you could do most of it. I'll, you know, just clean up a little bit with you and uh, we could get out of here. You've got on. to be kidding me. We have a three-hour lab to do, and we're already behind. Okay, did you read any of the materials for today? For today? What materials? There's a lot of stuff that we have to do to prepare. If we try to do it all in the lab, we'll be totally behind. Listen, maybe... All right, here, we'll review together. We can just go over it together. Didn't you notice there was the list of responsibilities on the board that you were supposed to copy down? The list? Yeah, and number one was you were supposed to prepare for the lab before you get to the lab. Maybe um, we could uh, look through it together. I'll tell like you what, why don't you take a look at my notes. Yeah. I'll get a map. Okay. Before coming to the laboratory, you must understand the chemical principles for the session. Review each step in the protocol. Know the chemical hazards and handling procedures. Become familiar with the equipment and its safety features. All right, next time I promise I'll be more prepared, all right? Maybe this time you can help me out. Help me out, please. Maybe. But first, you're going to have to change your clothes. You got any tennis shoes in your bag? Yeah. Well, I've got a pair of baggy sweatpants that you can wear. You have to have close-toed shoes and long pants in the lab. And while we're working with chemicals, you have to wear a lab coat, gloves, and either safety glasses or goggles, depending on what we're doing. Cool, man. 
Anything else I need before we're ready to go? Not before we get started, but you may need to wear other personal protective equipment, depending on what we're doing. Like thicker gloves, an apron, and a face shield when we work with corrosive materials, and special chemical resistant gloves when handling some solvents. And for some things, you may really have to get suited up. <laughs> Just kidding! That type of stuff is for emergency responders, not for us. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. I appreciate that. Well, maybe next time you'll come prepared and this won't happen. Point taken. <laughs> Help me. Now that I'm uh, properly dressed, can we get started? Uh, yeah. I think that there are still a few things you might have missed by being late. Let me see. The, uh, the TA went over some issues with the lab protocol and some safety precautions before you arrived. You did read the lab protocol, right? What's the lab protocol? The laboratory protocol lists the specific chemical reactions that are involved in the experiment, as well as the step-by-step -step process that we use to get there. It also contains any special practices that we follow to safely use the chemicals and the apparatus. You didn't read it, did you? Admit it. You are totally clueless. Yes, it's important to come on time. Yeah, and prepared. Here, you take a look at the laboratory protocol while I finish setting up. And then there are a couple of other things I think you should look at too. These general lab safety procedures and the specific laboratory safety procedures for this lab. Mm. I don't want either one of us getting hurt. <laughs> I think this is going to be a long semester. I think this is going to be a long semester. It looks like we're going to handle some flammable and corrosive materials today. This is going to take a while. Uh, uh, looks like I will be catching up with my friends later than expected. There's a lot to do. Let's see here. General laboratory safety procedures. Work only if an instructor is present. Gather equipment and chemicals before you start. Keep your lab bench neat and keep breakables away from the edge. Avoid creating tripping hazards. Label all containers, keep stock containers capped, and return to storage when finished with them. Christiana, I think that uh, we should keep these drawers closed when we're done, you know, pulling stuff out of them. So okay. Don't hit your leg or anything. Uh, I'll get rid of this bag too. I don't want you to trip over that. Or me. <laughs> Good idea. You're gonna label those when you're done with that, right? You don't want to uh, get things mixed up. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. Unless you want to do it. No. Go ahead, I'm going to finish looking at the procedures. To work safely in the laboratory, concentrate on the task at hand and never play tricks or engage in pranks. Never eat or drink in the laboratory and never taste or smell chemicals or a pipette by mouth. Do not scale up experiments by adding additional reagents and never perform unauthorized experiments. Avoid exposure to chemicals by wearing the right PPE and handling flammable, toxic, or odorous chemicals in a chemical fume hood. Move slowly and carefully in the laboratory and watch out for others who may be carrying glassware or chemicals. Here, I, uh, I got through all these, so uh, can we begin now, please? How about a little test to see what you've learned? Uh, go ahead, test me. All right, what would you do if I took this bottle of concentrated acid and put it up here on the shelf to get it out of the way? Uh, it might fall, shatter all over the bench, no good. It's got to go in the fume hood. Right. Whoa! Oh! 
If you were splashed with a hazardous chemical, I would guide you over to the safety shower, remove your outer contaminated clothing, and douse you with water. Hold on, hold on. The chemicals didn't get on my skin or clothing. It splashed up into my eyes. Oops. In that case, I would guide you over to the eye wash, turn it on, and have you rinse your eyes while holding open your eyelids. Hey, I'm impressed. You read that pretty carefully. <laughs> right. Can we begin now? What's the first step? Add a hundred milliliters of water to a 250 milliliter beaker. So what's the next step? Um, in a chemical fume hood, heat solution of methanol using a water bath. It's getting late. I'll do this step. Let's see. When working in a chemical fume hood, I need to make sure I am wearing the right personal protective equipment. Check. Make sure the hood is on and air is entering the hood. Check. Work at least six inches inside the hood. Check. Pull the sash down below eye level and below airflow marker. Check. Make sure nothing is blocking the slots in the back of the hood. Check. Heating this solvent up with a hot water bath will take a while. I bet this Bunsen burner will heat it up quickly. What's up with the methanol? She's gonna burn this place down. What, what are you doing? You're not following protocol. You almost started a fire this whole place. <laughs> Methanol is a flammable solvent. That flame would have ignited it. The MSDS has a, a warning about its ignitability. Oh my gosh, you're right. I, I guess I was in a hurry. I, I almost messed up big time. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Hey, we're lab partners, right? We gotta look out for each other. Right. All right. Let's uh, take our time and finish this up. Do you see it precipitate? Uh, no. No precipitate. Okay, what's next? Uh, no precipitate. Um, that's it. We're done. Nothing but the cleanup. Well, let's do it. All right. Clean up. Clean up. Good job. When cleaning up at the end of the laboratory, place all chemical wastes in the proper container and not down the drain. Clean the glassware and place any broken glass or other sharp items in the broken glass container. Put everything in your drawer or designated storage area. Wipe down the bench top. Remove PPE and wash hands. Well, you know, I hate to admit it, but I think I actually learned something today. <laughs> kind of looking forward to next week. Yeah, me too. Hey, and thanks for saving me today. I would have been so embarrassed if I started a fire, having to evacuate everybody from the lab, call for help. I never would have lived it down. No problem. I guess that's what it's all about. Learn a little something, be safe, have some fun. That's right.
I'll be more prepared next week. Yeah, you better be. All right, let's go. All right. By the way, I'll need my sweats back. Um, think you could drop them off at my dorm? Sure, or maybe not. I think these are my lucky lab pants.